Hello, this is Uncle John John Reed's Totally Improvised Bedtime Stories. I do not read stories. I only look at the pictures from storybooks and make up stories as I go along. This is a near ASMR podcast. It is for children and parents who have a hard time going to sleep. Some of my humor is for the children, and I hope some of my humor is for the parents. My stories don't always make sense. Sometimes I don't finish stories. The only purpose is for the little ones to fall asleep. And maybe I can help mom and dad fall asleep too. I don't know the stories before I tell them. Nothing I say will be bad, but some parents might have strong opinions about certain topics. I will tell the story twice for the podcast. Sound is very important for story time. First, I will turn on white noise. Next, I will turn on music. Then I will adjust the sound so it is comfortable. And now it is time for me to tell a story. Today's story is called The Giant and the Dwarf. Now, a giant is a very, very big person. And a dwarf is a magical person who is short and he's sort of uh, like a square and he has a big beard and he always carries an axe and do you know why a dwarf always carries an axe it's because dwarves like to chop vegetables like carrots apples and other things that you can chop. So I think it's time to find out the story about this giant and this dwarf. I think I think maybe they're friends because I I'm looking at this cover this picture and it shows uh, a little dude with a crossbow, but it, he doesn't look scary. He doesn't look like, like, like a, a, a big crossbow. It's not very big, so it's probably not very dangerous. But be careful with sharp things. You don't want to shoot sharp things at people. That's not a good idea. And then there's this giant, and he's wearing uh, an Adidas tracksuit that's red with white pinstripes. And he's wearing an old-timey football helmet that's white. And I mean old-timey, like really, really long time ago. Where it just kind of looked like a kind of like a little hat, but it, it was a white hat. And the giant is holding a big rock and he says, Hey dude, if you're gonna shoot me with a toothpick, I'm gonna drop this rock on you. That's not fun. So 
So in the beginning of the story, we see the giant, but it's in black and white. But I remember, I remember he he's uh, wearing a, a an Adidas tracksuit that's that's red and it's got white pinstripes. And in this picture that I'm describing to you, is this giant? He's so big. He's so big. He's sitting on a mountain. But he's wearing like, he's wearing like a speedo shorts for like swimming, and he's wearing uh, like ballerina slippers. And that's okay. That's cool. I mean, look, he can wear whatever he wants. He's a giant. So if he wants to wear speedos and ballerina slippers and a, an Adidas tracksuit, but just the top, not the bottoms, and, uh, and an old timey football helmet that's white. Okay, hey, cool. I mean, that's a unique style. I never really thought about it. Uh, maybe I should try it. Maybe next next bedtime story, I, I'll wear that. We'll see. Now, in the next part of the story, ooh, I can see there. Uh, the giant must have been kind of walking around, walking around, just kind of, kind of, just kind of bored, you know, just kind of bored, just walking around, and he, and and he kind of is walking along, and he and he hears a noise. He hears a noise, and he goes, "Hey, what's that? What's that noise?" And he looks over the top of a mountain and looks over over the mountain and he sees this dude. This little dude and he's and this dude's wearing like a kilt. He's wearing a kilt. And you know what a kilt is? A kilt is it looks like a skirt, but it's a skirt that men wear. So don't call it a skirt. Call it a kilt. Now can women wear kilts too? Sure, of course they can. Women can wear skirt. Uh, I'm sorry, of course they can wear skirts, but the, they can wear they can wear kilts too if they want. So so guys can wear a kilt and and, and women can wear a kilt. It's okay. Whatever, man. And, and this guy this guy's also wearing a hard hat. He's wearing a kilt and a hard hat, which is probably a good idea because he's carrying a big stick. But it's not, it's not a, it's not a tree. It's not a log. It just looks like it's a stick. So I, I think maybe this is the dwarf in the story. He's just this, this tiny, tiny little dude, you know, from a magical kingdom, and uh, and he's carrying, a, and he's trying to carry a stick. Now, I think the giant was really nervous about the little dude. So he says, hey, hey man, I'm gonna drop this rock on you. I'm gonna drop this rock on you. Do you know why? And uh, the little guy is like, oh, no way. I'm gonna shoot you with this toy crossbow that totally doesn't shoot sharp things because that's not a good idea. I don't really want to shoot people with this uh, toy crossbow that doesn't really shoot. And uh, the giant says, oh, okay, okay. Well, uh, uh, I wasn't I wasn't gonna drop this rock. Actually, I was, uh, I was gonna, I was exercising. You see, because I've got a football helmet and, and football players that exercise a lot and I have a, and I'm wearing a track suit and that means I was exercising so actually I was lifting this rock to you know work out my my pecs in my, my deltoids and my quadriceps and my triceratops you know th the important muscle groups so I was just gonna work those out And, uh, and the, and the dwarf said, oh, wow, that's, that's cool. So what other kinds of exercises do you like to do? And the giant said, oh man, I like to, uh, I like to do Pilates, but you know, my, my Pilates equipment 
it got broken and oh man i really wish i could do pilates right now and the dwarf said hey you know what i i'm an engineer because in my land which is a magical land far far away all dwarves are engineers we build cool stuff and i can build you i can build you a pilates thing to let you do pilates the giant said oh awesome man ah uh, let's let's work together and so they did they worked together all day and then and, and so now here in this picture the giant is doing pilates and and actually the dwarf you know he's helping him do pilates but he's also helping out a lot he's also getting his own exercise too he's doing he's doing his pulls his lat pulls and his and his horizontal pulls and his um, um, uh, icicle pulls. I don't know what that is, but it sounds really difficult to do. And uh, the child said, "Okay, cool. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go, and I'm gonna uh, go swimming. I'm gonna go swimming." And uh, and the little guy said, "The dwarf." Um, he said, okay, well, I, I can't swim, but I, I can sail a boat. And the giant said, okay, cool. Well, I'm going to go swimming. And you sail your boat out into the sea. And I'm going to go swimming. But what but what the, the dwarf doesn't know is that it's a giant. He's, uh, he's afraid of, of, of swimming in the deep end of the sea. So he's okay swimming near the beach because it's not so deep for a giant for a giant it's like it's like the with the babies swim you know but for like you and me it's like it's kind of deep so so what he does now is he uh is, he, is he's gonna grab a giant tree which for a giant that's not very giant but for you and me it's really really giant tree so he pulls it up out of the ground and he's gonna kind of cheat so he's gonna go swimming but he's gonna use the the tree to help him uh follow it because he can swim, but also feel safe while he's swimming next to his uh, dwarf friend. And, and speaking of dwarf friends, what are some other, what, who are some other giants that you know? Well, there's a couple other giants. So for example, uh, one of the most famous giants it's a giant in the Princess Bride. You ever watch the Princess Bride? Oh, it's a really cool story. It's it's got fencing. It's got fighting. It's got adventure. It's got true love, and and it's got kissing, which is kind of the icky part. But it's okay. Sometimes I don't mind it. The Princess Bride. When you're older, maybe your mom and your dad will let you watch it. So, while I'm talking about giants, this picture here is about Fezzik. Fezzik is a giant. Has, he's actually kind of a friendly giant. And you know what he likes to do? Fasek, he likes to sleep. And he likes to sleep. And he likes to dream. And he likes to dream of large women. Do you like to dream? What kind of dreams do you like? Are you getting sleepy yet? Are your eyes starting to close? And are you, are you starting to dream a little bit? Who are some other giants? You know who is another giant? Barry Bonds. Barry Bonds, he was a giant for a little while. But you know, the Fezzik the giant, and the Princess Bride, he was a real giant. Seriously, that was his name. Giant 
it was his real name. I'm not lying. It was his his real name in real life was he had giant in his name, but Barry Bonds, he was a giant, and then he wasn't a giant. So for the rest of his life, when people read about Barry Bonds, there'll be kind of a little star next to his name that's called an asterisk. Do you know what an asterisk is? It's a it's a little star next to information that the information it's probably not true. So so Barry Bonds, when people read about Barry Bonds, they will always see this little star, this asterisk, and they'll and they'll have to wonder, was he a real giant? Probably not. And what are some other giants? Well, I'll tell you, one of my favorite giants is this movie about giant waves. And do you know what you can do with giant waves? You can you can try to go swimming, but that's not safe. You don't you don't want to go swimming with giant waves. But you know what's really fun is surfing. And you know what people do who are really, really, really good at surfing and riding on waves? Is they like to ride big, big waves? And there is a really, really great movie called Big Wednesday. Big Wednesday. And it's about three friends who wanted to ride the biggest wave at the beach. Now, what's really kind of cool is that these three friends, you know, this was a movie. And so that means it had three actors who were playing friends. And these three actors, they were giants too. One of them, his name, his name is Gary Busey, and he's famous because he has giant teeth. And if you don't believe me, you should look at pictures of him. He's got giant teeth. I'm telling you, they're really giant. And then there's Jan Michael Vincent. Yeah. And he had a giant problem that, you know, some people, it's really hard for them to, to quit doing stuff. You know, some people, they have a hard time quit, quit watching TV when it's time for bed. Is it hard for you to quit watching TV before you go to bed? I hope you're not watching TV now. I hope you're getting really sleepy and your eyes are closing and you're starting to sleep. I hope that's true. Some people have a real hard time quitting uh, eating eating cereal. You know, they just, they just want to eat more cereal, more cereal, more cereal. It depends on the cereal. Some cereal is really good. Uh, that's, that's true. Well, Jan Michael Vincent, he had a giant problem because he couldn't quit doing stuff. But that's okay. He doesn't have to worry about that anymore because he's asleep for a long time. The other actor, his name is William Cat. And you know what? He was a giant too. In fact, he was such a big giant, he was the greatest. He, he was a hero too. And he was a hero from America. So that made him a giant American hero. It's true. Ask your grandparents probably. Or your older or your older uncle or aunt 
Anyway, it's time to go back to the story. So, where we left off, our giant was trying to follow his new friend, who is a dwarf, who couldn't swim, but he had to ride a boat. So as the giant is swimming, he catches up to his friend. Oh, hey, I'm catching up to my friend. Oh, how cool, how cool. But, but he's getting out to the deep, the deep side of the, of the sea and he's getting really nervous. Oh no, I'm getting really tired. Oh, I don't know, I'm so tired. And he finds a little, little, little teeny tiny island. And, and, and his friend helped him uh, swim over to the island and he climbed up, he climbed up on the island and he lied down and he lied down and he slept. Our giant is sleeping, sleeping, sleeping on this rock. <clears throat> he's sleeping, sleeping, and he's sleeping so much. His dwarf friend says, oh, I'm going to go sailing some more. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna see if I can find uh, uh, a McDonald's or a Starbucks or something. So his friend sails away to find some snacks. Yeah. So this giant is sleeping because he's tired. I hope you're sleeping by now. Are you asleep right now? I really hope you're sleeping. I hope you're asleep right now. Very important for you to be asleep. So while his friend is sailing, 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 friend, his friend finds another giant. But this giant is is floating on a on an inner tube or one of those pool floaty things. And this pool floaty thing uh, looks like, looks like, uh, I don't know, like, I don't know, some weird thing. But, but he's kind of sitting here and he's wearing an old timey football helmet, just like his friend. And he's wearing a, an Adidas tracksuit, but this one is, is green. And the dwarf goes, hey man, hey, do you know my friend the giant? And the giant said, no, I don't know giant. But I know me, I'm giant. And the dwarf says, Oh, well, okay. Next, his new friend uh, follows him because he's not afraid because he has a pool to inner tube, a pool floaty thing. And he's just kind of following along until they go to some other place on the beach. And uh, the dwarf gets out of his boat and climbs up on the beach, and his new friend follows him. And kind of, they kind of walk along, and uh, and then the the dwarf says, "Hey, I want I just want to sit and I just just want to chill a little bit." And uh, and the the new giant friend says, "That's cool," and, he, and he's like really really laid back, like he's got his helmet all back on his head, like he's now wearing it wearing it like correctly but it's because he's just too cool you know and uh he just, just, just kind of leans against this mountain chilling with his new dwarf friend and he kind of sticks his sticks his, his hand in his shirt you know just kind of sit let it sit in there because it's like maybe he's from wisconsin because people in wisconsin they like to just like stick their hand in, in their shirt or under the belt of their pants and just kind of sit there and just be just be chill you know I wonder what they talked about. Anyway. So, the uh, the dwarf says, okay, hey, I'm getting kind of bored. So do you want to see something cool? And, and his new giant friend says, yeah. Okay, uh, what's something cool? And uh, the dwarf says, hey, I can shoot. I can shoot a crossbow real good. And the dwarf said, oh, I'd like to see you shoot something. 
So the dwarf says, okay, I'm going to shoot at the top of this mountain. And the, and the giant said, I don't know if that's a good idea to shoot the top of a mountain that's really far away, but I'd really like to see you try. And so the dwarf said, uh, 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 I was just joking. It's not a real crossbow. It's a toy. Anyway, it's not a good idea to shoot sharp things at, at, at people or things because you could get hurt. And anyway, it's a toy, so it's not real, but I was just playing around. So, they're kind of walking along some more until they see some buildings on the top of the mountains. And the dwarf says, whoa, check this out. And the giant says, whoa, check that out. I've never seen buildings on tops of mountains before. And the dwarf says, hey, we should go over there and check it out and make friends there maybe and the dwarf and the dwarf says okay carry me over there and the giant says okay okay and so so he does then the new giant with his with his dwarf body on his shoulder climb over some mountains and they talk to the city people and then they also see on the other side of the mountain the city keeps going and going and going. And also they can see the sea again. And there's like lots of big boats over there. They're like, oh man, let's go check that out too. And the and the giant says, Yeah, let's go see that too. And the dwarf says, Yeah, let's go see that too. That's really, really cool. And and that's what they did. They went to check out the boats. But they were really careful because the giant's really, really big. And he didn't want to step on the boats. That is the end of the story. And here's another picture of Fezzik, who's a giant, a, a, a kind, gentle giant in The Princess Bride. And you know, at the end of this story, he and all of his new friends, they got on white horses and they rode off out into the mountains too. Or maybe it wasn't the mountains. Maybe it is into the sunset. I don't know. And then there was some kissy stuff that happened. But hopefully that doesn't bother you. Because hopefully by now, you are asleep. Because that means you don't know what's happening at the end of the story. Which is okay. Because I'm finished telling this story. And I hope you and your mom and your dad are asleep too. Good night. <laughs>